Be sure to get my free audiobook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success, the very first link below this video. Tap it and you'll be good to go. What's going on G-Verse? Made a few changes. I was going to start with the digital products webinar, but I'm just, um, I'll wait until April. But in the meantime, there'll be a few webinars. First one is this Thursday. How to rent, how to find and rent a warehouse. This is something I get all of the time, Mike. How do you rent a warehouse? What, what do you do? And just, you know, to give you a heads up, it's real hard to find a small warehouse. A small warehouse being one of a, a 500 to 2,000 square feet. That's just a very small warehouse. That's kind of hard to find. Thus, alternatives and things like that because this is one of the bottlenecks, if you will, of a growing reseller business that is run by one person. Just keep getting that point. You can, you can just you can only do so much. And I'm going to lay out my process. I'm also lay out the process that I use to help a few of my clients because essentially you're going to have to come out of your house at some point. I know there are people who've been working home for decades and they've been making good money, but just from my standpoint, just from being there, from working from home, you don't really create a separation. Uh, there's only one place in the house that I work, and that's in this area. I don't work in the bedroom. I, you know, I just don't because you'll always be working. You'll always be doing something. You'll always find something to do. Whereas actually getting out of the house, creating a place that you go to the work, will actually take some of the stress out of your household. Just something to think about. And uh, well, something else I wanted to talk about because it's 2014 and there's a lot of crazy stuff that's going on. It is probably one of the best times in all of history to be an online seller selling anything. Uh, I was reading 1100 Radio Shacks are closing. I think in five, ten years it's going to be way more than that. Some Toys R Us are closing. J.C. Penney's. A lot of stores are closing, and there's one word: Amazon. I do this. I go out and I look at stuff. I look on my phone. I'm one of those people in the aisle. And if it's cheaper on Amazon, I'm going to get it on Amazon. If it's cheaper in the store, I'm going to get it in the store. It just really depends. And the thing is, frequently it's not like it's. $16.95 on Amazon and $16 in the store. It's like it's $10 on Amazon with free ship if you're a Prime member, and it's $18 in the store. It's frequently the, the dichotomy between the pricing is just so crazy right now. But I think that's going to level out because you just call it a culling of sorts. Retail, you know, I'll just talk about it. I was outsourcing because my daughter, you know, we're, we're starting her business and I'm out looking for products and stuff, and I want to do something different. I don't want to go take her down the path that I went of trial and error, but it's, we, we seem to have to go down that route anyway because a lot of the things that I used to be able to get and sell and make really good money, that's not the case anymore because of Amazon and other online retailers, and it's very, very interesting. So one of the things that's going to happen in 30 Days to 2500, that's the new group. Uh, I'm making big changes because Hustle University is officially gone and it's a hustler mastermind group and probably as people leave that's going to be the deal. It's going to be very hard to get into because there's a lot of fantastic stuff that I want to do with that group. So if you want any of my products, there's two ways to get it. Just just go ahead and put it out there. You can join 30 days to $2,500, pay the annual fee of 200 bucks, or you can pay the lifetime fee of 400 and those are your two options and you'll get everything you know either for a year or forever and for that's how you get into the g-verse that's how you get the products that's how you get the books and whenever i do a new book and there's two that are coming up there's a uh, hustle numics and then there's 50 laws to uh hustling those two will be done before the end of april so those will be dropped if you're in the group you get them free if you're not you'll have to pay for them so that's how it goes but what I learned from just talking to some of my friends, some of these people I've known for 10 years, 
that retail has been dead and it's really really the body's being picked up and bit slapped because it's never going back to the way it was and you know the way it was to me it was used to be fun to go to the mall it used to be fun to go to the stores it was just like there was an event you know when you pour it you don't do that too often it was like hey you know you go to the mall get a few things go to Kmart look at the Ohio players record albums and like dream then go to Baskin Robbins and get some ice cream it's not going to be normal anymore that's going to probably still be a shopping experience for wealthier parts of the country I think there will still be malls and stuff but if you are looking to be an online entrepreneur the time to get in is now because I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts you can agree with me you can disagree with me there's two things that are happening that are really driving this number one convenience number two price price is not ahead of convenience because I buy stuff that I could get cheaper because the convenience is there and the reliability is there I'll buy it. and I'm not the only one that shops this way so those are two things that are driving it and then there's another thing that's gonna come and people think I'm crazy but the job you have today you may not have five years from now it not because you did anything bad or you didn't show up for work not, none of that no it's just they don't need you because of automation and the efficiency of corporations they don't need you what I can do by myself is mind-boggling sometimes I just got this new app application it's not an app it's not on my phone that really really has helped me tremendously with editing I mean the, the shit that I've gone through with editors and stuff has been like crazy and this app it's like 95 percent 96 percent it's not 100 percent but I can live with it and who knows in a few years it may be 100 percent so just that thing and it's not, it's costing me nothing per month I mean literally based on what I used to pay for editing and I'm just looking at that what I can do and some other things that I'm going to talk about in creating digital products when we get to that is you can do so much now with so little and not spend a lot of money I mean you know like my setup the lighting the max and stuff for videos you can produce much better videos now with for maybe one eighth of what the cost I spent and I'm talking about getting brand new equipment brand new lights and everything and the stuff is better it's just better I mean this camera I have I bought in 2011 it's still I'm gonna use it till it falls apart but the thing is because you know it's 1080p it's got all kind of bells and whistles and night visions but I could go out and spend half the money and get a better camera now that is the way of the world I want you to understand it's about needs and wants and also it's really getting kind of how can I say it it's a strange new world because there are people who are killing it making money hand over fist I got to talk with a client uh, this Wednesday who's got some incredible future ahead of him and then there's some other people because I'm like privy you know just for those of you who like talk about the consults I want you to think about it have you ever had a bespoke shirt or a bespoke custom made suit have you ever gone through that experience I have and it's a trip you go for the first fitting you go for the second you go for the first measurement then you go for the fitting then they tweak it and do some other stuff they put on you well that's what a console is because what I've learned because I really really have started doing more consults is that you can have two people who look the same make the same money but when you get into that backstory they're just so different and the advice that I would give to each of those people is so different because I have to get to know you so I can help you have a better experience make more money and so on and so forth but I'm really learning a lot about business because you can, and that's the thing, you, you will never learn it all. There's always something to learn. There's always something new. There's always something coming. But it's really, really cool that I am behind the scenes on a lot of cool stuff right now. Really, really cool stuff because there's this thing I'm working on. I'm not going to announce it now because it's, it's a pet project that I am working on because I think it's the future. Because what's going to happen with, let, let's just take torture for us. Uh, we had a chat about that in one of the groups and you know it's an iconic brand that's been around for a long time and so was Borders and Barnes and Nobles is like just barely hanging on I just think that when you buy and resell like commodities 
because a toy is a commodity. Stuff you go to the grocery store. The only thing that's a commodity, meaning there's a lot of it, and it becomes a pricing game. There's a way to get past that, but it's not, the barrier to entry is high, but it's not as high as it used to be, as I'm finding out, because this is a pet project. When I come out with it, I'll let you know about it. But essentially, there is a, this is my opinion. I'm going to say the next decade for if you're doing retail arbitrage, if you're picking, you got the next decade to get your grip. There will always be deals. There will always be someone selling something. But this thing with thrift stores, I, I, I keep looking at it. I keep seeing more and more thrift stores with their own lines. And I know the pickers are going like, hey, you know, I'm a picker extraordinaire. I always find. And there will be some people who will always find stuff. There will be people who have extremely you know, great inventory gathering skills, but that's not everybody. That's not everybody. Uh, you know, if you're the elite, okay, fine, have it. You'll always find some. But what if you're not the elite? What if you're just average? You're going to be in trouble. And one thing I know about sourcing inventory, a lot of the people who are elite have deep connections all over the place. They have someone that's like, Psst, there's this garage sale. Psst, there's this. They, it's just, it comes to them because they've been in the game so long. What if you haven't been in the game that long where stuff just comes to you? And you always have to go out, get up, and get it. I'm, I'm just really, really looking at this stuff because uh, for my daughter's business, we, we're doing 50% retail arbitrage and 50% wholesale. I just think that's where it's going to end up anyway. I mean, retail arbitrage is great. If you get the right stuff, you can make a gang of money. And it's going to be like that for a, while, a long, long, long time because the marketplaces are incredibly inefficient. This is why you can go to Target and sums for 10 bucks, and you go online and the same exact item, not a knockoff, not a generic, is $2.99 with free ship. The markets are incredibly inefficient and they will stay that way for, I want to say five or six years. But the thing is, the markets know that they're inefficient and there's somebody working on that. And that person who's working on it or people or groups or organizations, every year they're going to get more and more tools to do things with. Which brings up another point. Since I started this, I have one business plan and I've completely did a 180 on that business plan and created another one because of the tools and the things that are available to me. That's going to go on. So that's another reason for you to get started because if you're out here and you're in the business, you're just going to learn so much by being in business that you will not learn by from researching. You can research it until the cows come home, but <laughs> you're not going to learn until you really get into it. So this is the time to really, really do some critical analysis on what you want to do with your life. Because when I say get your grip, uh, there will be people who will make millions in the next 10 years doing this stuff. They'll, they'll make millions. And then if they have a solid financial education, take that money and put it in real estate or something else to preserve that wealth that was created. So that's what I'm talking about. And then no point in history has have you been able to create wealth so fast i mean it's it's ridiculous because i look at the shit that i went through and a lot of that was based on the fact that i didn't have a good financial education in the beginning you know this was just it wasn't there and when you don't have a good financial education then you do stupid stuff well i'm not gonna say stupid you make bad decisions based on bad information let's call it that i'm not gonna say it's stupid and that's what i was doing and that's one of the reasons like you know setting up this business for my kid i'm just like you know, that's what everyone else is doing. You know, it's a crowd at race. And like I said, you know, where there's a crowd, there's fire and there's food and there's money. There's always money. Like, that's the reason you always see diet books, uh, makeup tutorials. There, there's a big crowd for that stuff. I am looking long term. I'm looking 20, 30 years. That's the outlook that I have on this. And I just see within four or five years of going, you know, to what I'm thinking about now. And I'm just like, just do it now. It's rougher, it's more expensive, but I think ultimately it's going to pay out a lot more money. And that's what I'm looking at. That's the long game. And that's kind of what happens when you get a warehouse. You start really, really looking at your business long, long term. Because as long as it's in your house, if everything just falls apart, you got to live there anyway. You got to pay your mortgage. So what? But when you really step out of that and really start looking at it. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about in this webinar because there's so many things you have to understand about 
getting your own different space for your business. But once again, it's 2014. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do to set up your business that you couldn't do before. Because a few of the ideas that I'm going to talk about in the webinar, I'm actually going to do because I looked at it and I looked at it and I was just like, hmm. because I have a whole new mindset based on things that have happened to me in the last three years. Really the last five, because July 17th of this year would be my fifth year doing you know conundrum media it's like kind of crazy when i think about it because i had no clue it was going to go on this long or even that i was going to be going in this direction so with that there's a lot of wonderful things that are coming and i'm just incredibly optimistic on so many fronts but if you don't have the right information you may be extremely pessimistic because you just see doom and gloom and you got to be able to look past that and you got to really 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 start thinking about do you want to be part of this incredible opportunity that's coming because i'm going to make money off of platforms and technologies and methodologies that don't exist that's what i put in my mind they don't even exist but when they come i'm gonna jump on them like a cat jumping on a mouse and take advantage of them because one thing that i've learned since i've been doing this is when you get in early and there's times you get in early and the thing will fall apart. Don't get your heart broken over it. I mean, it's just going to happen. But you get in early and that thing works. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Man, it's, it's just sick. And there's a lot of opportunities for you to get in early on a lot of stuff. What I see happening is just incredible. Just really, really incredible in terms of what you would be able to do as a regular person with little to no experience and maybe six months to a year's training is just mind boggling, mind boggling. You will have people making billion dollar fortunes off that kind of activity. It's crazy what's coming. But once again, if you are not really, really feeling what's happening now, if you are struggling, if you're mentally poor, if you don't know how to take a chance, if you think everything's just going to turn the shit on you, these are some of the worst times in history for you. And I speak from experience because when I had my experience of living in the boarding house at one time, homeless and shit, the economy was booming. It was booming. The internet thing was taking up. It was booming. And the reason was that my mental economy was in a state of depression. You know, figuratively and literally. That's the that's the whole deal. So you gotta get your mental economy together. You really, really do. But for those of you who want to be part of the webinar, it's uh this deal, it's ninety nine bucks, or you can join thirty days, twenty five hundred bucks, and I guess it'll be like you get way more than you spend. So that's the deal. All links are below if you want to join the webinars, if you want to join the groups, everything's below. Just hit that box expand it like you should expand your mindset and uh, you can be good to go all right this is glendon i'll see you on the good side